What's going on, Poker Nerds? Today I have a uh, super fast episode because the whole thing just took over 20 minutes, so I have to I had to speed it up at least three times because we ended up actually decking ourselves, like one of us decked himself. So that was a fun match. So I'm playing with the Charizard theme deck versus the Dragonite theme deck, and I started with a Sudowoodo, my opponent started with a Grimer, and for some reason he played an energy card on the Grimer. I think he just misread the card or something, but he didn't need to play the energy to use the ability. Okay, so I am, you know, I'm doing good. I'm drawing and he's drawing. We both keep our hands full. Okay, so he's, uh, he's searching for Pokemon, you know, I'm like, okay, well, this is, this is not looking good already. You know, his bench is full and he has this Tornadus Thunderous combo, which I really hate. And, you know, I only pretty much just have a Lugia and I'm just like, okay, Sudowoodo, give me some good cards, right? So you can see that I was look thinking about using Professor's Research, but uh, it didn't really end up doing it because there was too many energies in here that I didn't want to lose. And like, okay, I still have the Sudowoodo to draw, so let's see if I can draw something nice, right? But that Magma Cargo guy, he's probably going to do a lot of good work for me because if I manage to put enough energies during this downtime, like we're not fighting each other, so if I manage to get enough energies on him, he can just keep using this 180 damage ability every turn. See? It's like, we're both not even acknowledging each other's existence, just like, okay, draw, 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 put Pokemon down on the bench, draw, draw. Very cool. You know, both of us are... Pretty set up right now. I mean, this point, I mean, he, he he's got the advantage of the in, in terms of numbers, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now he's got a Dragonite down, so he's gonna have the advantage in uh, energy cards as well. And see what happens. Yeah. Okay. So he he uses the ability, and then he draws again. It's it's like what minute number two for me, and like five for him, and we still. <laughs> haven't done a single point of damage that is crazy you know let's see what's what's the delay here okay so he's thinking where to put the energy the founder's got it okay he's playing the buck catcher of course more draw <laughs> it's four cards and then he's gonna draw two with the grimer later there's so many cards man it's like we ended up playing the entire decks out it was kind of crazy and another dragonite in the in his hand and a pigiotto on the table okay so he's drawing again with the pigiotto <laughs> That's cool, man. Okay, he's putting energies down, and, but I'm still down at like only with two Pokemon. Okay, the third one right now is just you know just a young Mega coming later. But again, I'm not sure why I didn't put it. Oh, I think I just drew the Charmander, so I'm gonna put it down next turn, and then I can start actually maybe doing something soonish. Okay, so my opponent is using his Dragonite's ability again. Okay, cool. So he's stacked up. If we start racking it out, like right now, he's got the advantage, because he can dish out a lot of damage really quickly, and I'm not even set up with the Charizard, so I have to keep things going. I'm thinning out my deck to find some more other other cards that I can, I don't know, maybe use as, like, Cannon Father. See, if, see what I'm doing? I'm not even fighting his Grimer yet, because I need more damage counters on the Sudowoodo for him to just straight up knock him out in one hit, and I don't, I know that he's not gonna knock me out, so I'm just... I just keep drawing, and it's the same thing he does, right? Look at our hands, it's so full of cards. Okay, so I'm gonna play Leon. No, I'm gonna play How. Okay, evolving that Charmander into Charmeleon, evolving that Slug, and still drawing. I can take I can take one more turn of you know beating, and then I'll be at 90 damage with the Sudowoodo, and then I'll knock out his Grimer. In the meantime, you know, see, I was quickly looking up at the amount of cards that we both have in our decks because, oh my god, there's so much draw going on. But he's still going, like, he doesn't realize that, hey, we're getting very close to decking ourselves, both of us. And I mean, I'm still doing it too, right? So <laughs> but I was thinking, like, okay, I'm not gonna fight, maybe I'm gonna deck him, or, I'm, or I will maybe deck myself, who knows, but... Okay, see, I hit him with the one shot. Okay, no biggie. I forgot that I actually have a, uh, I actually have a, an advantage because he had a weakness for my uh, Sudowoodo, but it doesn't matter really. So that's the first damage on my side. But he's he put out the Dragonite, and I think that was a big mistake on his part because the moment he knocks out the Sudowoodo, I'm gonna bring down the Slug and just one shot his Dragonite. So that was a bad idea. 
If I were him, I'd... okay, so he decides to switch to something else. If I were him, I would switch to the... I would use the, the Pijoto and sacrifice the Pijoto. Because what, what am I going to use now? A Charizard, yeah, because I need the slugs to one-shot the Dragonite when it comes out. Okay, I'm just putting cards back in my deck so I don't deck myself. That was the strategy here. Okay, I gotta switch just in case I need to put cannon fodder and then quickly swap it. Boom, one shot. Very nice. You know, I'm still ahead and I'm thinking, okay, if I don't, if we don't end up decking ourselves, I can still pull this through just by, you know, strategizing the correct way and like sacrificing my Pokemon in the right order to the damage. He's still putting down, you know, he needed the Thunderous, I guess. Or uh, the other guy, Tornados, this is. Mm, okay, what's he gonna do? He's just gonna put down energies, alright. Boom, okay, my Charizard is gone. I'm fine with that, because I wanted him to kill the Charizard, so now I can kill the... I can kill the Dragonite with one swoop. And still have the other Slug ready. Yep, that's it. Very nice, very nice. So now he comes out with this, and I wasn't really prepared for this. I thought he was gonna hit me with the Thunderous at least. So that I would be... I don't know, this guy didn't seem like that much of a threat, so I'm like, okay, maybe I don't... Oh, and he actually ends up decking himself here. Did you see that? Did you see that? Like, oh my god, he actually ended up decking himself with the Pidgeotto on his own side. So I'm like, yo, I don't need to do anything in my next turn, I can just, like, just pass turn and he has to draw the card for the turn and you, as you know, if you cannot, if you don't have enough cards to draw, you lose the game. Even in Pokemon, it's just, which was surprising for me the first time I saw it, but yeah, so this is my turn now and I just put down Lugia, like, it doesn't really matter, okay, I'm still gonna, like, hit him or something, just for the sake of, like, points. And then his turn, boom, victory. Immediately. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. This was a fun game though.